Hey, she is. So, y'all, today we are finna make this pickle sandwich, okay? I got my pickles. Uh-huh. Y'all been going crazy over this Jimmy John's pickle sandwich. Like, the pickle sandwich is new. It's not a new thing. But I have never had one. Um, Every time I go to, like, the pickle festivals and stuff, I never want to stand in line for it. And I ain't got no Jimmy John's name, so we finna make our own, okay? Got my pickles. Like I said, I grabbed them from the deli. And let me show you what else we got we're gonna get into, okay? So, you already know the pickles are the star of the show. Oh, I didn't take the cheese out, but I got American cheese, y'all. Um, I got some corned beef, and don't don't talk about my meat choice, y'all, okay? It doesn't matter. But I have corned beef, I have um spiced ham, and then I have some buffalo chicken, y'all. I don't really like turkey. I'm not a turkey kind of girl. So, yeah. But anyway, we also got some banana peppers. We got pickled onion. I got this little spicy dill pickle dip stuff out I, I didn't want i don't want to use mayo on my bag and then we got us some lettuce so let me get this all opened up and we go hot right on into it all right y'all first things first you know what we gotta do take that pickle and split it right on in half now i'm gonna cut this as even as possible y'all y'all know i done told y'all i'm not good at cutting anything straight down the middle but i think i did an okay job what y'all think i think i did a good job <laughs> all right y'all next step um what we're going to do is core out a little bit of that middle, not too much, um, but enough so that um, our stuff isn't like immediately sliding out. But everything is going to be wet, so it's going to slide out anyway. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so I just uh, went around it with a knife a little bit and then I'm going to take my spoon and scoop out a little. And yes, eat the pickle guts, okay? Don't let them pickle guts go to waste. If you like pickles like I did, then yeah, you're going to enjoy it. But anyway, <laughs> core out those middles, okay? And then we're going to move on to assembling our sandwich. Y'all know my background always getting noisy and then I end up having to um, do a voiceover. But anyway, this is me just finishing the other side of the pickle. That I have for the pickle. Scooping everything out. I'm going to show y'all how it looks in a second. It's coming. It's coming. Y'all, I'm so excited about this sandwich because I've been wanting one for a really, really long time. And this is the perfect opportunity to do it. So yeah, you see, hollowed out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna move on. All right, y'all. So I started by adding some lettuce. Um, I added not too many, just a little bit. Um, added lettuce, and then I went ahead and added some of my banana peppers. Um, y'all, and that probably wasn't the best idea, but I wanted my sandwich to taste how I wanted my sandwich to taste. Okay, so this is. It got, it got extremely messy in the end, y'all, okay? <laughs> but this is me adding banana peppers. Um, if you make it at home on your own, you can add whatever you like to it. Um, I've seen the Jimmy John ones have, like, tomatoes and stuff. I don't eat tomatoes, y'all. Mm -mm, I don't do none of that. So we got to add some of those pickled onions. I don't use pickled onions because I didn't have red onion, and I like red onion on the sandwich opposed to regular onion. But anyway, so we got that pickled onion, um, banana peppers. I'm going to add some pepper because pepper is a must when you're making a sandwich, okay? It just add that little kick, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're going to go ahead and add some of that spicy dill dip. Just spread it all over. Um, I was going to use some mustard too, but I was like, girl, you got to chill. This is already ready to be messy. <laughs> but I added a little, bit of, a little bit of that on there. And then we went ahead to adding our meats. Um, the first meat I added is the a slice of the corned beef, okay? So I put that corned beef on there. I probably should have folded it up and made it a little meat, but I kind of just threw the stuff on there, y'all. Um, but, you know, it's my sandwich. I'm eating it. It ain't got to be perfect. I just wanted to share with y'all. <laughs> All right, next thing I did was add on um, two pieces of that spiced ham. And then from there, we went ahead and added our last pieces of meat, which was the buffalo chicken now i did do maybe a slice and a half um you know how the chicken is it is falling apart y'all so i just had to piece it together the best i could but um i'm pretty sure that was like a slice and a half of that and then once i got that on there we went right ahead and added our cheese And for the cheese, y'all, I just took one slice of cheese um, and just folded it in half. Um, yeah, I took that and, you know, folded it in half into two pieces. And I put that on there. And then we went ahead and added our top bun or, excuse me, top pickle, that is. And look at that. Isn't she pretty? 
tell me that don't look good. Like, you can't tell me that don't look good, honey. And we know we're going to clean that plate up. And we got to add some chips because what's a sandwich without chips? So, we added us some red hot chips to the plates, okay? And, baby, we sat down and got straight to business. Let me get y'all the up close, though. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and share.